regardless of the kind of security system you're putting in place, it's only as good as the testing that you do against it. As I mentioned before, the eCard test file is a safe way to test the malware protection software that you deploy in your environments. Global Mantix wants to make sure that endpoint protection is functioning as it should be. Therefore, from one of the Windows 7 clients, you've been asked to download the A test file from the link you see on your screen so that you can make sure that endpoint protection actually does capture and report on the issue. This time I'm on Win7-1 and you can see that I've already browsed to this link that you saw on your screen. There are a number of files that are available for download. I'm going to download icar.com.txt. And I'll open it. You're going to notice that I immediately get a system warning saying that there's been a threat detected. What do I want to do? I'll show details. And you're going to see that it tells me that we have the iCar test file, which is severe and it's currently active. Do I want to remove it? Yes. So I'll choose the remove option. I can show some additional details about the item if you like, including the location to which it was downloaded. And I'll click apply actions. And you're going to see the system now goes back to green because endpoint protection successfully removed this dangerous file from the machine. Now the next step is to go over and see what happened in the console. What happened with reporting in the console when this, when this alert was raised or when this virus was downloaded on this machine? Let's go over and check that out right now. First of all, notice that when we go to the Assets and Compliance tab in the console now, in the Recent Alerts area, we actually do get something. We are told that malware has been detected on a computer in the Collection All Systems. Remember, this is the first page we see when we open up the console, so this tells us right away that something's gone wrong and it may need administrator attention. But, by going to Endpoint Protection and Monitoring, we can see quite a bit more. Now, we see that there are two computers that have been remediated in the past 24 hours. And we see that there are two clients that have had this exact same virus. Now, if you started seeing this number go up for the same virus, it means the virus is spreading. So you might want to take some action. So this is a good way to be able to tell what kind of proactive steps you may need to take in the organization in the event you do have some kind of an outbreak. Now, before we go, I'd be remiss if I didn't show you some of the reporting capability you can have with Endpoint Protection. So I'll expand Reporting and Reports. It'll take you just a second to load the categories. And notice we have an Endpoint Protection category. There's just a few reports, but they're useful. This is another way you can get more information about what's going on in the environment. For example, a Chief Information Security Officer may like to get a daily anti-malware activity report. So let's run that report and see what we see. I'll point it at the All Systems Collection and click View Report. And here you can see that it tells me that we had two total remediations. None of them were failed and none of them are still pending. They were successful remediations. But it also gives you some information about what happened. They were The cleaning action was removed. There were two incidents on two computers. And notice that the two is hyperlinked. So if I click it, I can get a list of the computers on which that infection took place. And you can see here that there's some additional information about those computers. And again, you can drill down even further into the computer if you like and get computer malware details. This is going to be even more information about what was exactly going on at the time when the virus was detected.